Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a kitchen tour. Um, our house is an older home. Um, it's a tri-level and it was built in 1971. So when we moved in here, these cabinets over here were the ugliest color of wood I've ever seen in my life. So we sanded them. We first painted them white. I didn't like it. So then Oh, about six months ago, I painted them black and we replaced all the hardware. And then, I'll get a little closer. The backsplash here is just the plastic ceiling tiles. It's so easy to clean and a lot less expensive than the metal ceiling tiles, which is what I first wanted when I seen the look in like a, I think it was like an HGTV um, magazine. But yeah, we just put the plastic up there and we've just done a lot of like cosmetic um, upgrades to the kitchen because this is not going to be our like forever home so we have just like we did the paint um, the backsplash we painted the cabinets replaced the hardware and then replaced all the flooring and this is just like a laminate wood so but it's very durable we love it so we'll get started but over here is my doorway into my kitchen and that is my formal dining room and then over there is my entry I did a formal dining room tour and I will link that down below if you'd like to see that so over here is just a little wall <laughs> and then on top of here we just have some um, decorative pieces um, if you can't tell I'm in love with like paper straws um, then my toaster oven just a little Easter decor piece on top um, a sink. I love a double sink. In my next home, I want a double sink. Love that. So, and we just have some Bath and Body Works wallflowers. I love that one with the little wine. And then my light here and then um, my wine glasses. I would really love to have my sink over here in front of the window so I can look out into the backyard. But since we're not going to be here forever, I really didn't want to put the money into that. So my husband just installed this light so I could have a little bit more light there. And then we have our stove. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then above here used to be our microwave, but it just took up so much room. So we took it down and then I just put up this little decorative shelf there. And then over here is just little tiniest cabinet space and counter space. I don't even know what you would do with that. So I just put my oils and then that's a little longer burger salt crock and it holds my kosher salts. And then up here, ooh, that got dark. Just have my corks and a little cork holder. So, and then over here is of course my window and the trash. <laughs> And then I'll just show you the back side of the kitchen before we go into the eat-in part. Um, here is just my refrigerator, and that's on the other side of the doorway. And we just have a little basket for breads, um, a little mirrored container for pens and pencils, and then just a jar for change. And then all my magnets. I'm a magnet person. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then some of my son's artwork. And he is autistic, so these are just in support of autism. And then over here beside the refrigerator, I have just the smallest coffee station. That's the little spot I had, and luckily I already had this table, and it fits perfectly. So utilizing that small space, the can't talk, that utilizing that small space with that, I was really happy to find that in here and have just a little designated area for the coffee and stuff. So then we just have this is where I house all of our coffee cups, um, my son's snacks, and then up here just at the top shelf are spices. So, and if you're wondering, this is a food choice board for my son. He is nonverbal, so this helps him get his needs across. So that is that. So I'll give you another little, oh, and this is a spice rack that my I don't know if you'd call it a rack but anyway a little spice area that my husband made for me these are magnetic and I didn't want to put them on the fridge because we would constantly bump into them because they're kind of kind of stick out a little bit they're kind of deep so my husband just cut a piece of metal and he fit it to the space and this works out perfectly so okay so we'll start just give you a little my floors are squeaking <laughs> There's the entryway, there's the fridge, and then just the 
cabinets and sink and dishwasher and stove and there's my window to the backyard so over here on this wall i thought this was like a lot of dead space i mean i thought they could have put cabinets or something there but anyway i just have my clock and um this island i got many many years ago from kmart and it was part of the martha stewart collection i really like it these two drawers are ginormous they hold tons of stuff and they open both directions so you could put this in the middle of the room and uh, be able to utilize these drawers and then down here has this shelf and we just have our microwave and my wine cooler so that freed up a lot of the counter space over here that we could put those down there so that is that and then over here attached to this is just like a dining nook and on the other side of that wall is my formal dining room so and then here is this so we just have our table it's a pub style table with four bar stools and then I have a little video of the centerpiece that my son and I put together so I love that he did such a good job I think we added this though since the video <laughs> So this is this, and it just has a little dead corner over here. I think I just kind of put my water over there and stuff, extra things. So, and then just have like a little painting. I love this painting. Love, love, love that. So colorful. And then this door goes to my garage. And I just have a 31, 31 family planner there. And then have a little china cabinet. This was... The first antique piece my husband and I bought after we got married, we've had this, we've been married 27 years. We've had this about 26 years, so, and it was old when we got it. Sorry, the sun just came out. And then inside there's just like a lot of primitive antique pieces that's been handed down from his family. And the same with those guys up there, they're cookie jars, so those are my husband's. And then we just have our TV, my pot rack, and the pot rack we got from um, walmart.com and all the pots and pans except for maybe one or two are from pampered chef so there is that and then over in the corner we just have a little wicker vase with some i don't know i don't know if you call them branches or whatever i got the branches at hobby lobby just different types of things and then this thing i think i got at a garage sale i'm not sure so there is that. This is our, like I said, just a, I guess you would call it a little eat-in breakfast nook, but there's that. And then I'll give you one more little swirl around. And there's the bar, island, whatever you want to call it. And then up here is just the window. And then over here is the kitchen part, the cabinets and dishwasher and stove, you know, those things that you have in a kitchen. And then, like I said, in there is the formal dining room, an entry, and then my fridge and my coffee station. I will be doing a um, video on how to put a coffee station together in a very limited space, so be looking out for that. So, there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you at the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.